Today's video is about the top trending words of 2021. It's no secret that English, like any other language, undergoes constant change and evolution. And all thanks to the pandemic and other global developments, the English language went from being rich to even richer. That was sarcasm, by the way. Side note, if you're new to this channel, I'm Dasha, and on this channel, I teach English and give personal development tips. So let's get straight into the top trending words of 2021. The first trending word on our list is the noun staycation. Shockingly, at least to me, staycation was actually added to the Oxford Dictionary in around 2010. A staycation is a holiday that you take either at home or near your home rather than traveling to another place. And you can probably see here why this is relevant during the pandemic. As an example, you could say, my best friend and I are planning a staycation in Lake District this summer. Let me know in a comment below if you have a similar word in your native language. The next trending word, or in this case words, is patient zero. It refers to the person identified as being the first carrier of a disease within the context of an outbreak. In other words, it's the mystery person to ever catch a disease and infect people around them. You would have heard patient zero on the news and social media outlets throughout this pandemic. Take these headlines as an example. Patient zero found, but Italy's historical COVID-19 research research goes on. As you can see, patient zero does not necessarily have to be the first person to ever get sick in the whole entire world, but it could also be the first person to catch a virus in a country and then spread the disease within that country. Continuing with the spirit of the pandemic, the term binge watch is a very trending word indeed. And that's probably because we've spent most of 2020 and virtually all of 2021 so far binge watching shows on Netflix. Oh my God, I need help. <laughs> On its own, the word binge means to do something in an extreme way, like to binge on cookies means that you're eating loads and loads of cookies. And so, to binge watch means to watch a TV show for a very long and continuous amount of time. Another expression is marathon viewing, which almost makes it sound like a workout, but it's really not. And so, for example, the sentence, last night I binge watched three seasons of Breaking Bad, means that I watched three entire seasons in a row of Breaking Bad, with a possibility of a bathroom break. Moving to the next trending word, flexi time. And it simply means flexible working arrangements. Personally, I think that flexible work is probably the only good thing that came out of this pandemic. That and not having to socialize with anyone because, well, introvert. Flexi time is the name given to a flexible work pattern. So instead of doing a regular nine to five job at the office, you could work from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then again from 3 p.m. till 9 p.m and only come into the office like once or twice a week. Flexi time therefore caters to an individual's personal needs and it's the opposite of the traditional working arrangement. So you could say something like, flexi time working methods are becoming increasingly attractive. Now, because of the fact that countries and cities have been in lockdown and people have not been allowed to travel or visit friends and family, we now more than ever use the words pod and bubble. One of the several meanings of pod is a group of marine mammals like killer whales. But these days we also refer to a pod when talking about a closed group of people with whom we regularly interact to minimize exposure and reduce the transmission of COVID-19. For example, I could say my cousin Anna has agreed to become part of my pandemic pod. And the same goes with a bubble or a social bubble. <laughs> so continuing with our example with my inexistent cousin Anna, I could say that Anna is part of my bubble. All that means is that she's part of the limited group of people with whom I interact to prevent the spread of the virus. 
Like the word staycation, I thought that fitspiration is not a real word and a hashtag at best. But I couldn't have been more wrong. According to this 2017 Oxford Mail article, clicktivism and fitspiration were among the 300 new words that were added to the online Oxford Dictionary back in the day. And yes, clicktivism is a thing, and it's a type of political activism through social media, like clicking online petitions, which is basically useless. But I digress. Fitspiration is a person, a video, a photo that serves as inspiration or motivation for someone to be fit and healthy. So if you ever caught yourself wanting to do a booty workout because of a video that you saw on Instagram, then congratulations because you were fitspired. On another semi-pandemic related note, the acronym ASMR has recently been trending all over the internet and it's definitely blowing up on YouTube. In fact, according to AREF's Keyword Explorer, ASMR was the second most searched word on YouTube in January 2021 with a whopping 4,036,274 searches. The acronym stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response and it's a common complex emotional state that people experience when they hear or feel certain triggers like whispering or the sound of hair being brushed. But overall, it tends to have a calming effect on people, which is a good thing. And who knows, maybe because of the pandemic, more and more people find themselves in a poor mental state and ASMR is something that really helps improve mental health, which might explain why ASMR is trending these days. With these next few words, we're going to deviate from the topic of the pandemic and talk about something a little bit more positive, like the word crowdfunding. So what is it exactly? Crowdfunding is when a project or a business venture gets funded by a large number of people, typically through the internet. Your business is therefore funded by a crowd of people that believe in your project. One of the most well-known examples is the company Oculus, which is now owned by Facebook. The creator Paul Merlucky first started making these VR headsets in his parents' garage, and then he launched a campaign on Kickstarter. And it was obviously a success. In case you didn't know, Kickstarter is probably one of the most prominent funding platforms out there. So that's crowdfunding explained. In these next few seconds, I want to introduce you to the trending term cancel culture. Let's first take a moment to break it down a little bit. When something is cancelled, it means that it's over, like a cancelled flight or a cancelled TV show. In SLAN, if a person is cancelled, it means that they're no longer supported by the public. And culture, of course, means customs and social behavior of a particular group in society. So if you put these words together, cancel culture is a modern internet phenomenon where a public figure or a famous person is no longer supported by the general public because of their unacceptable behavior. Now, whether or not the alleged unacceptable behavior has merit or not is a whole different story. For example, you could say that Ellen DeGeneres was cancelled after accusations resurfaced that she mistreated her co-workers and staff on The Ellen Show. And finally, the noun nomophobia, which is the fear or the worry at the idea of being without your phone or unable to use it. Wait, where's my phone? I need to Google that. The word is actually an abbreviation for no mobile phone phobia. And no, I didn't make it up. The term was actually coined during a 2010 study by the UK post office after it commissioned a research organization called YouGov. It's a recognized phobia like arachnophobia or claustrophobia. So if you ever get an anxious feeling when you can't find your phone or your battery dies, you might be suffering from nomophobia. And this brings us to the end of this video. As ever, I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. Let me know in your comments if you've ever heard any of these words and make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my awesome content. I'll see you later, bye.